right, boys, I'll pay you 250,000 Robux if you're the first one to die. Eh? What the? Start! Okay, come on. Stop trying to reset. I obviously disabled that. You're gonna have to think a little harder if you wanna die. But what my four friends here don't realize is that there's a dangerous buzzsaw hidden somewhere in this maze. And if they manage to find it, let's just say it'll be painful. But surely they won't find it for a while. Oh, wow, they are really close, actually. Oh, uh, hey, Macho. Uh, well, what you doing over here, man? I want to die. Well, I can assure you there is uh, nothing around here that would ever kill you, Macho. I don't believe it. Okay, man, but believe whatever you want, I guess. Okay, they're getting really close now. Is this saw actually going to kill them? Is someone about to win the 250 grand? Macho has officially made eye contact with the saw. Is he really about to die? Um, guys... He's still alive? That saw did some damage, but it looks like he's fine. Oh, where did he go? Well, wherever he went, it looks like the other players are about to join him. Did you really think it would be that easy? You lost a little bit of health, but your goal is to fully die, remember? Yes, <laughs> yes. What is that? What is that? Then go, quick, because at the end of this obby, there's another buzzsaw. Now, I won't say how much damage the buzzsaw in this stage does, but I will say you don't want to waste any time getting to it. Trust me. All right, Macho is in first place. He's going strong. Obviously, he is the parkour master. Timp in second. He's also good at parkour. That makes sense. Temp, your big fat head is in the way. Your <laughs> stupid little tail. You pulling it? Don't pull it. <laughs> Come on, guys. You got this. It's not too hard. Macho is approaching the very last jump. This is a tin stud wraparound. It's really hard, so I doubt Macho can make it first try. Oh, what did he just do? Uh, I'll explain in a second, but Macho is first, and he loses 15 health. A-S-S-S-S. Yeah, remember what I said earlier about not wanting to waste time? That's because the buzzsaw deals less and less damage the longer you take. And if you're in last place, it doesn't damage you at all. You guys all want to die first, right? Yeah, 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 I do. Then you better touch it now. Well, it looks like Guppy is on the last jump now. Is he going to use the same trick Macho did? He did a glitch called a wall hop to get a double jump. But does Guppy know that? Wow, he's just good enough to do it legit, I guess. Guppy is second and loses 10 health. Jake and Tempest are now nervously trying to make it. Whoever finishes last takes zero damage, which is bad, by the way. Remember, the goal is to die. Oh, whoa, looks like Jake cleared the final jump. He touches the saw and takes five damage. Oh, yeah. Tempest sadly takes none. Yeah, let me up there. I don't want to do this anymore. But hey, maybe he'll do better next stage because it is entirely different. Yeah, buzz saws aren't the only way to get hurt. So that's why the upcoming stages will have increasingly ridiculous and difficult ways to injure yourself, starting with car crashes. We built a pit full of dangerous obstacles, and the harder you wreck your car in it, the more you get hurt. Start. Tempest is off. Dude, this sucks. <laughs> He's going for the ramp, a clever choice. And... Oh. Well, his car shattered, but he only managed to lose five health. Can Jake do better? I think I, think I know where Jake is going. I, I knew that Jake would go here. The second we placed this, I knew Jake was going to be the one. Yeah, while building the game, we put an innocent puppy dog here just to see if anyone would hit it, you know? I'm not surprised it's Jake. This is a dark and twisted man right here. Stop, Jake. Don't do it. Tip is trying to save the dog. Stop. Get out of the way, Tim. Stop it. Get out of the I'll way, Tim. I'm going to have to hit the dog, Jake. It's the only way, Jake. Jake takes 10 damage. I guess being evil sort of pays off. But can Macho one up it? Oh, wow, he's going already. And right into the spike pit. That's a solid 15 damage taken. He just held forward and prayed, I guess. As expected from Macho. Ow. But maybe Guppy can do even better. He's gonna he's gonna try the ramp that Timp went up, I think. Maybe his car will not shatter like Timp's did. Come on, Guppy. Come on. Uh, Guppy's car didn't even break. It just got stuck, so he took no damage. Uh, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry, man. But maybe he'll take damage in stage four. I built a pool of lava. The quicker you guys jump into it, the more damage you take. And as per usual, the last one to touch it takes no damage at all. But there's a catch. In between you and this pool of lava, there's, uh, let's just say lots of obstacles. You'll have to wait and see what they are. Start! Woohoo! 
Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Huh? Looks like they're a bit surprised that the floor is made of glass. I mean, I don't blame them. It's kind of hard to see. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, that's so oh. Tempest has reached the first obstacle, the glass obby. Oh, balls. Wait, you have to do an obby? I guess so. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Tempest is in first for the first stage of the whole challenge. He's actually in first. Whoa. Jake in a solid second. Guppy and Macho stuck on the glass parkour. Oh my god. Hey, at least I'm subscribed to laughability. Wow, I definitely did not edit him saying that. Hey, you can subscribe too if you want. But you are not allowed to subscribe unless you are actually enjoying this video. I mean it. Anyways, Tempest has reached the second obstacle, cobwebs. These slow you down when you touch them, so avoid at all costs. Cobweb maze. Oh my gosh. Can I just jump over it? Yeah, I can. Ooh, these cobwebs. <laughs> no. <laughs> jumping over Stop them. Tim has reached the glass maze, but it looks like Jake is really close to him now. It's so hard to see. Oh, and this is hard to see, right? Stop, Jake. They are at the lava. Time to jump in. Yes! And first place is Tim. Second place is Guppy. I can't fit through this, bro. Third is Jake. And fourth is, unfortunately, Macho. But unlike the last stage, stage five is completely unpredictable. Let me explain. Between you and this buzzsaw are a series of rainbow paths. You just have to walk across them to make it through. Easy, right? Well, no. Because only two of these paths will help you make it across. The rest are fake. So this stage is basically up to luck. Start. Oh, man. All right, none of them got it right first, obviously. Jake got it right first try? <laughs> Wait, how did he do that? Oh, yeah. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I see how you're walking. Wait a second. He's cheating. Jake is cheating. He's using... Oh my god. Hey, Laugh, how you doing, man? I feel so good right now. Is he gonna get first place? Yeah, um, let me explain what just happened. Jake completely outsmarted me. <sighs> On Roblox, there's a feature called click to move. If you enable it, then your character will walk wherever you click. So when he turned that on and clicked at the buzzsaw, his character just automatically walked on the correct paths. I, I can't believe I didn't think of that. She didn't break any rules, but I still hate him for that. Screw you, Jake, you evil man. Anyways, uh, congrats on getting first. I don't even want to die anymore. What the amount of dopamine you just got? Yeah. <laughs> Guppy is second, Tim is third, and Macho is in dead last. Guys, what one? is it this one this one over here thanks however unlike that stage it's impossible to cheat stage six but the buzzsaw is right there isn't it wrong the buzzsaw is at the top of this massive hill you know what else is at the top of this massive hill and i'll just say these boulders don't exactly help you three two one start <laughs> Walk straight through the middle. Straight through the middle, Macho says. Hey, these four are actually doing pretty well. Considering this is a callback to the maze video, and these four perform the best in the maze video, I'm not surprised. Oh, that was bad. Oh, Macho just got... Macho! Wow, Macho just got creamed! Yeah, by the way, these boulders don't actually hurt them. They just knock them around a bit. Come on, you guys, just climb the hill. It's not too bad. You got this. Ouch! Ouch! Dude, the sound effects make it really cool. Come to the left. Dude, these guys are struggling, but it looks like Timp is first, dude. Is Timp gonna touch it first? No way! And Timp is first place! Yeah. Now you just gotta make it to the exit. That's not so hard. Come on, Timp. Looks like Jake is second. Guppy and Macho are now fighting for third place. One of them is not going to take any damage at all. Guppy is getting close to the saw. Macho, come on. <laughs> I'm waiting. But he's waiting for Macho? Why? Why would you do this, Guppy? Come on. Three, two, one. Go! No. All right, Guppy got there first, but wait, what? He's letting Macho go in front of him. Uh, I guess Macho is third and Guppy is fourth. Thank you. Look, man, I understand you're being nice, but you're going to lose if you keep doing that. Lose? I'm happy if my friends win. Oh, okay. So he's stupid. That explains it. Anyways, even if he wanted to let the others win on stage seven, he wouldn't be able to because this is the reverse race. If you get first place in this race, you're safe. If you get last, you're punished with a lot of damage. But wait, don't they want to take damage? 
damage? Yes, they do. You see, their actual goal in this race is to get last place. Which won't be easy. Because they're stuck on conveyor belts that are constantly pushing them toward the finish line. Red equals slow and green equals fast. So they want to stay in the red as much as possible. But they don't know that. Will they be able to figure it out in time? Three, two, one, start. Macho instantly fumbles because he was typing. <laughs> Macho is losing by far. The other three are pretty close to each other. Ah, ah, don't take the green. Oh my God. No. Ah, oh, this is so hard. And it looks like Macho already fumbled and made it to the very end. On G. It looks like Jake is second. Oh, I really done it for myself. Timp and Guppy are neck and neck. Both of them were smart enough to figure out that red is good and green is bad. But which one's gonna be last place? Who is going to get out? <laughs> that was a photo finish. Time to check the footage, I guess. And play. Well, there you have it. Guppy got last, which means he wins. I won? Oh. He takes 15 damage, which is a good thing, remember? But little did I know, stage eight was going to have an even closer photo finish. Let me explain. In front of you all is a pit. Inside this pit, there's a zombie. If you touch the zombie, you take damage. And zombies usually chase you, so this stage should be easy, right? Start. Wait a second, why is he running away from them? You see, I got my friend Tincel to fully reverse the zombies AI, which makes it run away from players instead of chasing them. Everyone was a bit shocked. Stop it, please! Get back in here! Hey! I'm delicious, I promise! Here. He's yellow, he's a fraud! Oh, oh, it looks like Macho's being smart and going the opposite way to try and catch the zombie from behind. But the other players are already catching up to it themselves. Look at them chasing it. Tim got hit. He touched the zombie first. Jake is second. They're still running. What? <laughs> All right, let me explain why I'm so confused here. When the players touched the zombie, only two damage noises played. So everyone, including myself, is thinking only two people got hurt. One of you forgot to get bit. Uh, we were wrong. And we all stayed here for two minutes until I realized what actually happened. Tempress and Guppy had another photo finish. They literally touched this zombie so close together that the damage noise overlapped. But if we strictly look at who took the most damage, the person who came first place was Tempress. He took 15 damage. Yeah, I, I got yeah. a big chunk taken out of me. Guppy took 10, Jake took 5, and Macho took 0. However, stage 9 won't be over so quickly. Honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the hardest stages. And because our players are getting so low health, it's also one of the last stages. But before starting the stage, I realized I had no idea what these players were even fighting for. Tempest, you've gotten second place for two challenges in a row. And before that, you got third place twice in a row. You always come so close to winning, but never managed to what would you even use the money on if you won a cool hat a, a, a cool hat chicken hat Ch <laughs> i really want it it's 250,000 robux it's the perfect price wait 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 250,000 robux for a chicken hat yeah all right man you got this temp thanks jake what horrible things would you spend this prize money on uh how much robux is it again 250,000 is it taxed can i share it you can share it yeah i don't want to share it i, I know you don't want to um, share it jake you, you didn't trick me with that what did you ask me originally oh, what are you going to spend the spend robux on you know what laugh you know what yeah. i don't know you suck at interviews you really suck at interviews jake laugh what do you what would you spend the 250 robux on uh this challenge what a waste of money all right what about you macho gronk Gr gronk wait i mean Gork. The Roblox gear that's a that's a caveman. My caveman buddy. You know what? You need more of your kind, Macho. You need some caveman buddies. Thanks. Guppy, don't slowly turn around at me again. If you Why do you have built-in sound effects? If you win the Robux, what are you going to spend it on? Beta fish. Beta beta fish? Beta fish. That's not a Roblox thing. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> that guy gives me the creeps. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like him. All right, boys, we're getting close to the end, and some of you are almost dead. So listen up and stand on a podium. Welcome to the Reverse Quiz Show. I'll be giving you simple questions, but your goal is to get them all wrong. For every question you answer wrong, you'll take two damage, which would usually be a bad thing, but remember, in this challenge, you want to get hurt. So you want to choose the wrong answer. Anyways, question one. Which of these is a U.S. state? Kansas, Texas. Chicago, Maine. 
All right, that's close enough to an answer, <laughs> Guppy. I'll take it. The wrong answer to that question was Chicago. It is a city in Illinois. Jake is the only one who got it right, which is bad remember? Because now everyone besides him loses two health. After asking four more questions, these were the final results on who got hurt each round. Guppy got every single one, so he came in first. And Macho did the worst. He only got two. Alright boys, look behind you. A ladder drop. And when you finish climbing it, you'll arrive at stage 10. Each of you is so low health that the challenge could literally end on this stage. So listen up. In front of you are three silly faces. If you enter their mouths, you'll slide down all the way to the bottom. At the bottom of each slide, a mysterious punishment awaits you. I won't spoil what they are, but some hurt more than others. Just stand in front of the slide you want to go down, and then go down it when I tell you to. Macho chose the bacon hair slide, Tipris chose the noob slide, Guppy and Jake both chose the zombie slide. Remember, each of these slides has an entirely different punishment waiting at the bottom, and there's no way to find out what it is until you go down. So who should I let go first? I choose... Macho. Go down your slide. Macho landed in a ball pit and takes five damage. Shuppy and Jake, go down your slide. Guppy and Jake land in lava, taking 15 damage. That is rough. Last but not least, Tempris, go down your slide. Tempris lands in a pile of shit. Expired chocolate. He takes 10 damage. That was so fun. That was Arlo, so which fun. One? Guppy, Sorry, we are oh. one McDonald's Sprite away from dying. I, I would... Wait, candle. Candle? Do you have a candle? All right. Like Tempris said, both him and Guppy are less than 15 health away from dying. The challenge could literally end next stage. But how are they doing mentally? <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing you're injured. No. <laughs> Dude, Tim, you are a hair away from dying. Um, hmm. I feel like I, I could do it, but if Guppy did it, I would respect it. You're too nice. You're too nice, Tim. Go over to the corner and die now. Okay. Oh, yeah, gladly. Macho, get over here. Get out of the poop, man. Come on. I'll be blunt. You fumbled this, man. You you won the first three in a row, and then you have, like, not won one since. Yeah, maybe I'm not lucky cause after I said I was. I've lost every single one. Yeah, you saying that you were lucky was the catalyst, man. You should have you kept your mouth shut. Dang it. What up, Mr. L? Okay. Uh, that's not my name, first of all. All right, interview's so over. What? Dude, no, you can't do that. Stop. I am the one. Don't hide in the poop from me. You know what, Jake? You're not going to win anyways. You're third place. Interview is over. I don't even need to talk to you. You're a loser. Guppy. So, you're the number one contender to win. You have the lowest health. How do you feel, man, after losing so many challenges? I feel great. Yeah? Uh, any, any, anything else? Don't, don't turn at me like that. You know I don't like it when you do that, man. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess interview over. Now it's time for what could be the last stage of the challenge. Stage 11. Tempest, Guppy, both of you can take enough damage in this stage to fully die and win everything. So listen closely. In front of you are four platters. Each of these has a mysterious food under it. When I say go, you are allowed to go and pick a food. Some foods are harmless. Others will hurt you. Dish number one is banana. Banana! <laughs> banana! Hey! Yeah. Second dish, the pretty patty. One. <laughs> Macho just said want. He hungers. Right. He, he doesn't even realize the challenge is happening. He just wants food. <laughs> Third dish, cake. Yummy. Aww. And fourth dish. Oh, that was is one of the person. Car tire. <laughs> first come, first serve. Everyone get one. Wait, I think Macho. <laughs> Macho Did Macho is, eat it? <laughs> he's just holding it like that. Dude, that's right. lodged in his mouth, bro. <laughs> he couldn't help. He lunged onto it, man. All right, I'm going to start with Jake. Eat your food. That did zero damage. It was a veggie burger, man. It's healthy for you. Oh. Come on. What? All right, next up, Temp, eat your food. If Temp chose the most damaging food here, he's gonna die and win the whole challenge. He's gotten top three for five challenges in a row. If he loses again here, that'll be another second place badge on his chest. But if he actually manages to win, maybe he'll be free of his losing streak. Arr. That did five damage. That could have been the food that won the challenge, man. I gotta eat some but cake, so I think I win. The reason it did five damage is because cake is a bit unhealthy. It has sugar. You and I know that, Tim. Come on. Yeah, that's why I chose it. Guppy, if you have the 15 damage item, it's still out there. If that car tire deals 15 damage to you, you will win this. But if that's the 10 damage item, you won't. So, Guppy, eat your tire. Oh, oh, oh. 
let me pause here for a second and say I am shocked that Guppy even got this far. Because honestly, up until now, I thought he was stupid. I mean, he let other people win and go in front of him. Who in their right mind would ever do that in a challenge? He already tried being nice in the last competition, and it literally got him eliminated. So why is he still doing it now? Anytime we talk, he always mentions how he just wants to have fun or play with his friends. And honestly... It's really creepy. He creeps me out. I mean, how could you not be creeped out by that face? He's a creepy guy. But I guess he's also kind of nice. I mean, he guided Macho in stage five, literally sacrificed himself in stage six, chose to go down the slide with a friend last stage instead of by himself, and always sticks with others. Is he actually just here so that he can have fun with friends? Was he telling the truth the whole time? Seriously? No. No way. It's literally impossible to win one of these challenges by being nice. He's stupid and creepy, and he's totally gonna lose here. Right? <laughs> what? Oh! He won! Guppy won! Macho, you can eat your banana now. <laughs> I won! I won! I won! I want to give 23,000 Robux to each of my friends. Peace, love, and acceptance for everyone. Stop! You won! You can stop being creepy!